Hi everyone, this video is the first in the series of four videos on how a garment collection is uh, designed. I am creating this series on request by Irem and Shirley. I hope I am saying the names correct. Uh, this is long pending as I was traveling last month. I am going to briefly explain the stages of design process from research to the uh, final detailed uh, uh, tech packs. Today's video is about how to do trend research. When you think of designing a collection of garments, you need to be aware of the trends in colors, fabrics, styling details, etc. This is the first step in the whole process. I will show you some of the easy ways to get information on the trends. Are you guys ready? Let's get to it. Trend research is basically for opening your uh, mind to create new stuff according to what people are liking around the world. This will take you out of isolation and help your creative juices flow. You may get inspired by anything and everything around you. Trend research will guide you to narrow down all the ideas which are popping in your head. Now where do we start? Start from uh, searching on Google. You can type anything in Google regarding fashion. It will show you hundreds of options to look through. These are some of the keywords uh, you can type on uh, Google for latest trend uh, research. Subscribe to online trend reports like uh, Pattern Bank, uh, Promo Steel, WGSN. I will leave the links in the description box below. Uh, be part of fashion groups on uh, LinkedIn, Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter. Pinterest is the great place for inspiration. On social media, follow well-known designers, fashion bloggers, brands. You can look at look at latest magazines, books. Um, I I have um, subscribed to Vogue, so this comes every month to my um, doorstep. And there are books like um, uh, Color Inspiration. You can just have these books with you, where you'll uh, get to see how to uh, um, how to follow colors, how to mix colors. You'll get inspired by these books, a dictionary kind of thing for fashion and there are colors again you can just have um, uh, some books which will inspire you visit nearby libraries thrift markets start observing group of people uh, on the streets their way of dressing movies can be great inspiration when i was in college there used to be a movie watching assignment watch a movie and write about the costumes this goes same for museums and art galleries just you gather all your information and put them all together into a board. Take printouts from internet, collect fabric builds. If you like some trims, some buttons, laces, just put them all together. Or take photographs of architecture, nature, um, um, tear pictures from magazines. Collect everything and make, make an inspiration board. You can create different boards for colors, fabric, styles, trims, all separate boards. But uh, I prefer putting all of them in one board. It can be as big or as small as you want. Pin it on your wall or keep it in your computer. Whichever is convenient for you to look at. Your research is done. Yes, your research is done. You can add or remove things from your inspiration board till the time you finalize on the design ideas. Start putting them all together in picture form or physical form uh, or on your computer. Just put them all together so you can um, uh, look at your research and get inspired. Here is an inspiration board from uh, one of my clients uh, recent work. So in this uh, board you can see uh, prints, fabric, in, uh, fabric trend and some details which, uh, uh, which were uh, included in the collection. Isn't that simple? My next video is about how to plan a collection. I will talk about um, uh, client profile, number of designs, design details for each style and many more. If you have any doubts from this video, let me know in the comment section below. Let's have a discussion there. If this video was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as I make videos every week. Start creating your inspiration board today. Have fun.